today guys we're talking about my latest obsession and the fragrance i wore the most these past days this is clemence i talk about fragrance so welcome back happy music day yes it's music day guys so we have to celebrate and in today's video i'm happy to tell you that this video is sponsored by my favorite perfume brand and it's l'orchestre parfum i've been supporting the brand since the beginning of my channel so for me it's always a pleasure to recommend some great fragrance if you don't know the brand <coughs> i mean if you know this channel you probably know that brand right a great brand that associates music with perfumers fragrance and it totally makes sense because a lot of perfumers says that you compose the way your fragrance is done like a symphony my discount code clemens 10 is active again and it's 10 percent off and this time you do have the 10 percent off also on 15 milliliters because uh l'orchestre so parfum does these little minis that are called the roadies so cute so cute so cute so sweet i love them they're so cute that's the latest one mono cashmere oh, love it so if you head to my instagram account we're doing a giveaway we are offering you a chance to win a bottle of bouquet encore this is their bestseller with piano central huh? this is not just a basic floral fragrance you're gonna have here and that's why i'm so happy to talk about it this fragrance is a tuberose and jasmine kind of blend so it's really white flowers and it feels super creamy but what really makes this fragrance a huge difference compared to any floral and tuberose you would smell it's its pepperish side. You really smell it when you spray first the fragrance. It's very blossoming, it's very sparkling, very vibrant, and then you get all the creaminess. It feels extremely sensual overall, and the pepperish note really gives something electric to the fragrance. They actually describe it as a flowers in a dark light. And this is really what you feel because despite the fragrance has like this flourish side and a bit of vibrant aspect, it feels very sensual. Throughout the year, I wore this fragrance on a day-to-day -day basis because it's very easy to wear, but also a lot on dates. In the dry down, you have a little bit of vanilla from Madagascar, so very beautiful vanilla. So it, it's there really to like blur the edges, round the edges, you know, like it, it makes you like like a sensual trail but it's not sweet at all every time i made it smell to someone they say at the beginning that oh yeah that's nice and then they keeps coming back to it because it's just really addictive you want to smell it again and again and again the performance is the best literally the scent trail that it gives is amazing every time i wore that i got complimented and i think it's the case of a lot of people because People keep telling me it's their favorite from the brand. And by the way, talking about electric fragrance, the music that they chose to be matching the fragrance is actually uh, the remix you can hear in the back. I didn't put it all the way to the video because I'm scared of copyright, obviously. <laughs> the music is done by the famous DJ Popoff and Animal and Me, which is also a DJ. I think they are in Deep House and stuff like this. If you listen to that music, this is exactly something that you're going to get. Something vibrant, electric, that's going to make you move. Talking about that for music, the Pang Galactic Garden did a collaboration with L'Orchestre Parfum and did a remix of the song uh, for Bouquet Encore and you can listen to it on L'Orchestre Parfum Instagram and also on my, I'm talking about it in my reel giveaway, voila. I find that it's a very modern way to have a tuberous because don't you feel that most of the time like tuberous fragrance are super heavy and lack a little bit of uh, something trendier and this is amazing right guys so that was my most worn and biggest choice for the category of floral fragrance date sensual floral let's call it like this don't forget you have my code clemens 10 on all the creation the big size but also the 15 milliliters the road is now and if you want to try the full collection you do have discovery kits as well to try the full collection i mean i love them all and i would be very happy for you to try them been trying something new recently and that actually blew my mind i don't want that like sweet uh, synthetic gourmand scent i'm really attracted to something that really smells like a cake or something that i i can smell in real life and the best i found 
nowadays is definitely le cirque du soleil lors de l'eau de parfum and you might be like what are you talking about Cleos <laughs> like what the hell is the cirque du soleil doing a fragrance you know everyone doing a fragrance nowadays I was really scared because I was like it's gonna be crap <laughs> and I smelled it and I was like this is actually mind blowing yes. what kind of fragrance would you do for a circus well this smell like pomme d'amour and popcorn salted caramel on top you know it's very buttery it's a thick fragrance a great projection a great longevity and it's true that not everyone wants to smell like popcorn and pomme d'amour but me i do love that i'm 100 sure you never smell something similar before There's a special category that I like to use in the morning and that are my anti-anxiety anti uh, medicine, I would say. And the best, the best I've tried recently and that I'm using every morning since then is Matin de Jade by Infiniment Coty Paris. Do you know what? They make me think of a good Chanel fragrance. It's not too crazy in creativity, but it's extremely beautifully done last perfectly and it's something that is going to be timeless and uh, is really elegant fresh ginger fragrance and it's funny because me the first time i smell it i smelled like a tea a matcha tea fragrance there's no matcha there's no tea very smooth very relaxing very comforting oh my god why is it raining like this <sighs> what a crazy choice of life to live in england <laughs> That is my favorite one when I wake up in the morning. That makes me feel the best, really. Valentino, born in Rema, pink pepper. This, this is my favorite now of the range. When I wear those things, um, it's during the day, you know, I don't want something complicated. But I think they really work and I'm always really happy with them. I would just say that Valentino sometimes feel a bit ex expensive but it's something that is really uh, common to a lot of designer the price of designer is rising and it's very scary to be honest like it's a bit too much but anyway the first time i smell it smelled a bit like oriana parfum de marley or love don't be shine from kilia this orange blossom white floral kind of scent with this really orangey twist girly because it's very sweet it's funny because they call it pink pepper yeah you can smell a bit of pink pepper but me it's really that girly sweet white floral slightly orange tone that i can smell compared to oriana it's not as marshmallowy i'm i'm wearing that a lot actually because i don't know i feel comfortable i feel feminine black dragon by byron uh, it's really a tobacco smooth sweet scent so really unisex preferably i think like men are really gonna enjoy that fragrance to be fair it's very sexy i actually would love to smell that on my partner it makes you feel really sexy like mysterious like a uh, bond girl you know <laughs> Compared to all the tobacco that I smelled before, it's really like this very, very smooth and round and vanilla-like. And it's got something very gourmand. And it's usually what you get when you smell a Byron fragrance. There's a little bit of that synthetic vibe in there, but I don't know why. I really like it. I like to wear like a leather jacket and, and a nice, cute little dress with that. And I feel, I feel like uh, perfect. A little bit of smoky eyes, you know. And, and I feel great, you know. The longevity, the performance, the trail is exceptional with Byron all the time. There's also bits of honey in there and mango. So it gives something nearly slightly sticky to the scent. I wouldn't say with the mango it feels tropical, but you can smell it a little bit. And I think that's really good. Like a mango with tobacco like this is pretty, but it's very discreet in the fragrance. The attention is on the sweetness and the tobacco. huge difference between what smell a natural vanilla rather than vanillin which is synthetic vanilla that is very sweet a natural vanilla smells woody earthy it's got something like very very special <laughs> that's my best description it's very special <laughs> oh dear Ormond de Jane vanille des Afriques and honestly if you're looking for something classy elegant but very sophisticated you have to try Ormondo Jane. This is one of the brands that is doing great justice to the perfumery in England, you know. I keep wearing it on a daytime to go to fancy area in London. Yeah, I like to pretend. <laughs>
Uh, I like to pretend I'm someone important, but I'm not. <laughs> so I'm wearing this. <laughs> vanilla but natural everything that I explained to you and it's got a lot of wood in there and you really can smell that very animalic touch but it doesn't feel skunky or it doesn't feel harsh it's not like a middle eastern wood it's beautifully balanced and I have to say like this is one of the best vanilla I've tried it's blended with iris butter this is next level to me masterpiece masterpiece Wave Child Room 101, 105, 1015, 1 whatever. A watermelon smell that smells super marine, but a marine that is appealing. Not a marine that is going to make you feel sick because a lot of people don't really like marine fragrance. Amazing. Let me tell you, at first, it projects your huge amount of fruit, watermelon in your face, but extreme freshness. It is so refreshing because it's also cool fruit. So rather than being warm, solar-like, suntan lotion and enveloping, it's like very cool thing. Your hot summer days, you're in a bikini and you're boiling to death. And you're going to spray that and it's going to refresh you and cool you down. I love, love it. Very unisex as well. It doesn't really give anything. You need to like watermelon, obviously. But uh, amazing. born to stand out and it's called dirty rice i think as i remember it's like a korean brand there's a lot of perfumer that we know in collaboration with that fragrance including olivier crest this is my clean musky fragrance do you hear like it's like very cloudy powdery spray when you see the name dirty rice it smells racy it smells a bit almondy uh, it smells very clean, like a white musk should smell, so really good for every day. It's definitely on the soft side. It doesn't have the best longevity to me, four hours or stuff like that, maybe a bit less sometimes. Clean and cozy, you know, but it's very dry. At the beginning, like I was not really too keen, I thought it had nothing really too special, but I don't know why, since a few days, I keep wearing it. For some people that want something like more personal, more intimate, that are not really too much in fragrances that are super beast, you know, I think that's a great option. The only thing that I don't like with this brand, and I'm going to be completely honest, is that um, they're called Born to Stand Out and they're claiming the fact that they're very rubble and everything like this, blah, blah, blah. But the fragrance doesn't feel rubble. Like this is called Dirty Rice, but it's nothing dirty. In I've tried the rest of the fragrance and I was a bit let down because the fragrance are really nice. But if they would choose a name that was more appropriate, that will feel better because it doesn't feel dirty, you know. So it's a nice, racy and clean fragrance, but it's not dirty. Malo Soradora. So this is the addictive one, the violet addictive fragrance. We can call it like a lipstick fragrance because of the violet that is very strong. But at the same time, a lot of men really enjoy that scent as well. So I think it wouldn't be too fair to call it lipstick. But uh, men who wear lipstick, so whatever, you know. They made a very old note. Uh, smelling like very trendy on trend cool you know it opens with fruity notes like raspberries it's overly sweet it's a little bit synthetic and it's one of the rare fragrance with encensoir matière première that i have to spray once or twice otherwise it's too much and I, i'm not a faint of heart like i'm used to like very harsh fragrance and the heady very intoxicating It's not because you choose a budget fragrance that you cannot smell elegant, my dear. So money doesn't do everything. You can always find great bargains. And Fragonard is one of the best brands for this because uh, Fragonard, they do really amazing fragrance that smells super natural with qualitative ingredients, but they are actually very affordable. This is Belle Dalle, that smells a lot like Neroli, so you know a bit white flowers, a bit of a green touch and orangey notes. Very citrusy and it does have a little bit of an aromatic touch in there that really feels natural with an amazing performance, uh, but has a little bit of a co co cozy touch. You're gonna love that, it's great.
Thanks again, L'Orchestre Parfum, for collaborating with me on that video. Don't forget that you have, uh, with the code CLEMENS10, a discount on the big size bottle, but also the 15 milliliters. And if you want to win a bottle of Bouquet Encore, you can head to my Instagram account and you do have a chance to win uh, that bottle with that giveaway video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I want to give a huge super thanks to the latest super thanks. If you uh, watch this video until the end, you can type in the comment the word encore. And if you don't know what it means, encore means in French again. I wish you a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye now. Dans mon paradis bleu